Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Be In The Bear Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 9B. And I'm back with another Azure haul. And I also am going to add on my Costco haul from last week. I did a video um, of that. It wasn't very long. And so I figured since I was doing my Azure this week that I would just put them together. So this will be an Azure and Costco <laughs> uh, haul video. So anyways, let's get started. All right. So this time uh, my Azure order is a little bit smaller than it was last time. And this time I got some dried yellow peaches and some dried apple rings, some dried mangoes and dried blueberries. And you'll see in the Costco um, video, I got dried strawberries. Seamus was asking for dried strawberries and dried fruit like as a snack and so I figured we would try this Azure doesn't have dried strawberries so I went ahead and just got I asked him what he wanted and well what sounded good that he wanted to try so he said peaches apple rings mango and then the blueberries I wanted to try <laughs> so that's why I got those so that should be fun snacks I also got some uh, anise star anise as you might know it um, for this is really good for like Asian dishes. Um, I did get the Nourishing Asian Kitchen um, book, and so I'm excited to start using some of that. I got Italian seasoning. This is my first time ordering it from Azure. Um, we go through a lot of Italian seasoning, so um, I'm going to try theirs and see how we like it. Um, I got some uh, pour uh, caps from Azure um, for mason jars. So we buy our milk, uh, raw milk from a friend of my husband and coworker. And so um, this will make it a lot easier for him to pour the milk out of the uh, jars. <laughs> so uh, that was just something we wanted to try to, and hopefully it will make it easier. I got some more white chocolate chips. Um, I bought these for John, trying to get him away from like the yucky store-bought ones that have like funky stuff in it. But of course he likes the store-bought funky yucky ones. So <laughs> I'm buying these anyway. And so I'll put these into any baked goods and stuff. And then the other ones he can just have whenever he wants it. So um, this is baking soda. Uh, I went to go make cookies the other day and they did not rise very well they were kind of flat and I think it's because my baking soda was no good anymore so I bought some more just a small amount um I got baking powder as well mine was past its uh, date and um this one is aluminum free as far as I understand or at least I was supposed to get the aluminum free one I don't know anyways <laughs> And then this cheese was on sale, and so I thought we would try it and see which one we like better. This one is actually a little bit cheaper than the brand I bought last time. Um, just regularly, it's um, a lot cheaper. So, well, at least a dollar cheaper. And so we'll try it, see if we like it, and then go from there. Sierra Nevada, um, I'm pretty sure this is out of California, which is where, yep, product of California. So I feel good about that. That's fairly local. Um, I did get more of the adrenal um, food, supercharged C. John liked these. Um, and so I got another thing of it and beef liver. We actually like that a lot. And I also got, last time I ordered this and it was out of stock. And so I didn't get it. So I ordered it again. So it's white basmati rice. Um, we eat quite a bit of rice around here, and I personally like Mediterranean. Oh man, my hair. Woo! Anyways, I personally like Mediterranean food a lot. The kids, and eh, maybe not so much. So I really wanted to get the basmati rice for when I'm making like peel off and stuff like that. Anyways, so that is my Azure order. Now I'll um, add on to this video my Costco haul from last year or last year last week oh goodness I'm tired anyways it was a little bit of a drama at the Azure 
somebody didn't show up and I'm wondering if they're okay or what's going on. I couldn't get a hold of them. But anyways, um, it always just makes me sad. <laughs> so anyways, um, so yeah, I'm going to add on the Costco order or haul from last week uh, at the end of this video. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful week and enjoy these two videos for the price of one. <laughs> and um, I will be coming, we're May 1st now, so I'll be coming with a, um, well, probably not a full garden tour till the end of the month, but I definitely have been doing some things, so I, I will do a shorter video of what's going on in the garden. Not a full garden tour till the end of the month, but just you know, an update on some things that we've done. So anyways, that was a lot. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the Costco. Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Bee and the Bear Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 9B. And I am here with a Costco haul. So I don't buy everything from Azure. I do go to Costco for some things. Um, and so I guess I'll show you guys what I bought today. Also, I have some new chicken earrings. Really excited. I got these at a store. It's called Rooted. It's in Coors Gold, California. So if you live locally, you might want to check it out. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so I'll go ahead and turn you around and get started. All right. I don't have it all organized like I do with Azure, but <laughs> just bear with me. So here I have the multi-grain late July. Um, the organic um, tortilla chips. We like these. I also like, um, there's another brand and they use avocado oil. This one has some questionable oils in it. Um, but the rest of my family doesn't like the other one. They're tortilla, well, they're, they're tortilla chips, but they're not made from corn. Anyways, the rest of my family likes these. So I'll pick my battles and we'll go with this. <laughs> also, we have some Annie's the extra cheddar cheesy smiles the kids really like these and john likes them as well and then the kettle brand uh, costco pink salt potato chips um, john and seamus really like these a lot so i went ahead and i got two bags each that way i don't have to go to costco for a while also i got this i saw another um, youtuber talk about it yeah, um, a few months ago, it's the Shibu Shibu, uh, the New York beef loin, and they cut it really, really thin, and it's great for marinades and stuff like that. We've done it a couple times. Uh, I really like it, in like when I'm making Asian style food and stuff, I'll use this. Um, it's just really fun. I'm gonna try doing a marinade and like doing a freezer bag marinade. So I can just take it out and have it, you know, ready sometime. I also got two tri-tips. If you are in California, you know what a tri-tip is. <laughs> it's very big here. Um, I buy them at Costco because they have the best prices and they're really the best tri-tips around here, unless you're buying it from like a local uh, beef, you know, rancher. Um, but yeah, so... I have two of those and then I season them with my own Santa Maria style seasoning that um, my grandpa did. So anyways, I also got um, the sliced cheese. John likes these. It's easy for when I'm making his sandwiches because I make his uh, lunch for work every day. So this is just fast and easy. I didn't check. Um... It uses enzymes. It does not say that it is. It does have coloring, vegetable color, um, but it says enzymes in it. So I'm under the impression that that is animal enzyme because if it's vegetarian or the microbial, it'll say that. So we're trying to keep with the animal in it. I also got, this is my favorite kind of butter. It's from New Zealand. Um, it's great butter. And then I also got string cheese, this brand. Also, it just says um, cheese cultures and enzymes. So like I said, as far as I understand, that is still using animal um, rennet. I also got these, I think it's pronounced Grillo's pickles. Um, John and the kids and I 
love these pickles. They're great. Um, and so I always get them or try to get them when I go to Costco. This is John and Madison's favorite <laughs> cheddar cheese. It's the habanero jalapeno. If you haven't tried this, it's really good. It's like a good spice. It's not like super crazy um, hot or anything like that. So anyways, and then on here, it just says enzymes as well. So I'm assuming that would be animal reddit. Also, I got mozzarella cheese. Um, and this one just says enzymes as well. So I'm pretty sure that's animal reddit. Over here is <laughs> one of John's favorites. He likes the well, I call it the yucky lunch meat that has all the nitrates and all that stuff in it. Um, when I buy for the kids, I always buy the nitrate free and stuff, but he likes this. So I got the chicken breast, ham, and the roast beef. So that's that. And then, so John is from, well, okay, well he lived in Colorado for 15 years and um, like Hatch Chili, New Mexico, Hatch Chili is really big there. And so we've been trying to find something around here that, you know, is similar. And so I saw this um, on the Costco website. And so he was like, well, we can try it and see. So hopefully he'll like that. I'll let you know if he does. All right. I got a big thing of organic raisins. So um, Sunmade is actually from Fresno County, which is the county that I live in. Um, Fresno County is the raisin capital of the world. <laughs> and so I'm pretty comfortable with getting these, um, raisins. Uh, John actually, when he first moved to California, he used to drive trucks that would take the raisins from the fields to Sunmade, um, to get processed and weighed and everything. So anyways, um, this is a local company to me. <laughs> so I will, I feel confident in buying from or buying that. All right, and then I got some Annie's mac and cheese. Um, Madison will make this, you know, for her and Seamus sometimes for lunch. It's a great, you know, side. I feel better about this than I would like Kraft macaroni and cheese. Um, I have never been like a big macaroni and cheese person. So I get this mostly for the kids and for John. I got two things of sardines. Um, John will take these in his lunch sometimes. It's really good. Instead, like, instead of taking codfish oil, um, he'll eat this. <laughs> so, and sometimes I'll eat some as well. I haven't gotten the kids to try it yet, but um, I always get the sardines from Costco. And then I also got a whole chicken because when I go to Costco, that's a big thing. So I don't want to make dinner. So this is easy. I don't always buy these, but when I do go to Costco, I'll get one. And then after we eat it tonight, I'll put it in the freezer and make chicken broth with it. I also got this organic extra virgin, all extra virgin olive oil. I always buy olive oil when I go to Costco and they have a good price. And, um, you know, I use it for many things. I also use it in, um, the beauty products and, and salves and stuff that I make. So I also got this, this is, will be my cooking honey. So I'm not using the really good local stuff. This is from the central Valley. Um, it's like a mix of different honeys and so, and it's raw, but this will be the cooking. And then, um, I usually buy from the Kingsburg honey company. I don't know what the, its official name is, but I get it at the farmer's market. And then I also bought Madison some pistachios. She's been asking for uh, pistachios. And this is actually local to us. Um, this is Hanford and Hanford is in Kings County, which is a county right next to ours. And actually uh, my kids, dad and grandpa, they actually have a pistachio farm. Well, they did, they sold it. Um, they also had a raisin farm as well where they grew raisins. And um, so I feel good about because this is local. This did not travel far away like it's right here. So that's the one good thing about living in the Central Valley of California is we have a lot of farmland and we actually have a lot of people that um, grow organically too. It's not just a bunch of big farms. It's also like organic farms around here too. 
So anyways, that's cool. And then I got a t-shirt to try. I, we'll see how it is. I like the material. It's like thin. And if you don't know, we have super summer, like super hot summer. So, and then Seamus has been asking for dried strawberries and I looked on Azure and they don't have any. Um, and so when I saw these at Costco, I was like, well, we'll try it out and we'll see. I also, in my next Azure order, which will be next week, I ordered a bunch of other dried fruits. So anyways, <laughs> that's my Costco haul. What are some things that you get at Costco? Like there's some things that they sell at other Costco's that they don't sell on mine. Like I've seen other people's hauls and they have like organic all purpose flour and my Costco does not sell that. And so that's why I like Azure because I can get, you know, organic flour and um, grains and stuff like that to grind myself. So anyways, <laughs> um, tell me, you know, what are some things at your Costco that you like to get? And um, do you have any of these things at your Costco as well? So anyways, I hope that you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you'll tune in next week when I have an Azure haul. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Just a little add on. So I did the from Acre Homestead here on YouTube. I did her Korean style beef. Uh, she does it with like a flank steak or something like that or ribs or something. I don't know. But anyways, it's on her website, which is scratchpantry.com. Or you can just check her out here on YouTube, which is um, uh, Acre Homestead. And then I also did her cilantro lime beef too. So these are going to go into the freezer and we'll have some uh, marinated meats in the freezer. So that's good to know and good to have. Anyways, like I said earlier, have a good day. Have a good weekend. It's Thursday. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week.